Hi, I'm Vibrene Samuels and welcome back to another episode of Type 2 Makeover where I give you my proactive patient approach to dealing with type 2 diabetes. Now whether you've been newly diagnosed or have lived with the condition for quite some time, on an annual basis all of us have our HbA1c blood test. And what this does, it measures the amount of glucose that has attached itself to the haemoglobin. And the haemoglobin is the substance found within the red blood cells that carries the oxygen to all of the cells in the body. Now, whenever we eat anything that's got sugar in it, the sugar attaches itself to the haemoglobin, and the haemoglobin loves this. And it lasts within the body for about a three month period. So whenever you go and have your blood test, it's measuring the amount of sugar that's in the bloodstream over about a 90 day period. And the measurement then gives us the ratings in terms of our HbA1c, which could be like 7.5 or 5.3. Now, ideally, uh, the normal HbA1c is between 4.5 and 6%. Now, I've managed to bring mine down to 6.9 as I move on my journey towards reversing this condition. So I'm really excited about that because I'm within touching distance of doing so. However, all of us should be paying attention to the levels of our HbA1c. And the reason for this is because there was a major clinical study undertaken between 1983 and 1993 and it was the diabetes control and complications trial and what they found was that people who had a tighter control on the HbA1c levels and that's whether you have type 2 diabetes or not but actually there was a 76% reduced risk of eye disease a 50% reduced risk of kidney disease and a 60% reduced risk, reduced risk of nerve disease. So if you're looking for any uh, encouragement or motivation or just to widen your education around the importance of managing your HbA1c levels, well I hope those percentages give you the encouragement that you need. So as always I want you to stay well, I want you to use your wisdom, get into dialogue with your doctor and I will see you again on the next episode. You can uh, put comments in the comment box below because I always love to connect with you. Feel free to like and share this video with people in your network or with people who you know who have type 2 diabetes and feel free to subscribe to my channel. So until then, stay well.